So, weiter geht's mit Mass Effect. Wir haben die Beweise gefunden gegen äh, den, äh, den bösen Spectre. Und jetzt scannen wir den hier noch. So. <lacht> Hier war keiner, ne? Ne. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your... Commander Shepard? My name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body <coughs> be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Ach, da kommen wir her, okay. Da ist der Polizeimann wieder. Hier ist die Bar. Okay. Erstmal gucken wir. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I uh well, she's an Asari who works here as that is she helps people with things. <lacht> You've never been, have you, boy? I uh no, I never did. <lacht> I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Uh -huh. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden <coughs> Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, 
We'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Uh... Mm, okay. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She died a hero, Mr. Batya. And now she has a chance to save even more lives. It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Hm. Wow, acht Paragon-Punkte. Äh, wo wollte ich jetzt eigentlich hin? Äh, ich glaube, ich muss hier dann zum Turm, ne? Ja, Citadel Tower, genau. Den hatten wir schon, ne? Ja. Ja, insgesamt die Fahrstuhlfahrten sind viel zu kurz. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. 
The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Achievement! Okay. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre training talent unlocked. Okay.
increases the damage and duration of all your powers and attacks by 1,5%. Das klingt gar nicht schlecht. Nice. Okay. So, das nehmen wir mal alles. Und dann die brauchen wir nicht. Das ist immer noch die beste Pistole. Ist immer noch das beste Sniper Rifle. Wir haben einen Turian und ist der besser? Ich weiß nicht. Hat bessere Schilde. So, siehst du wohl. Jetzt sind wir ein Spektor. Äh, was ist denn jetzt unser direkter Auftrag hier? Um, Expose 7 hatten wir gemacht. Speak to the Ambassador. Also wieder zum Ambassador gehen. Okay. Find the commune. Century system in Hawking Eta. Strange biotic commune. Okay. You probably haven't seen the last of Conrad. Okay. Deliver information. The information found in Fist's Alter will help Miss Wong. Okay. Das können wir machen. Uh, ich muss noch sieben Keepers scannen. Okay. Und in den äh, Argos Rohr Cluster fliegen. Okay. Gucken, wo ich sieben Keeper finde. So, Wards Location. Med Clinic. Da stand doch die Reporterin in der Nähe. <lacht> Dich haben wir gescannt, ne? Ja. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Okay. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Hier irgendwas einsammeln? Nee. Und 
da steht Amy Wong. Okay. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Uh, so, was war jetzt das nächste? Keeper scan. Und da müssen wir wohin fliegen, okay. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volas? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left too. Uh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSAC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Chorus Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Gentleman's Club. I got business here, but not with you.
wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. <laughs> what the hell was that about? I guess we better go find out. So, dann mal gucken, wo der jetzt war, den wir da suchen müssen. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay, and das ist jetzt natürlich alles viel zu teuer für mich. Ähm, Medium Armor, Human, okay. Was wir machen können, ist die ganzen Pistolen hier verkaufen. Schweren menschlichen Dingens brauchen wir nicht. Gucken wir was so ein Omni-Tool. Ist das besser als das, was ich habe? Ja, ist es. Hm. Aber nicht signifikant. wieder im Fahrstuhl, okay. Also, so, so langsam habe ich begriffen, wie das hier funktioniert. Auf den beiden entgegenseitigen Seiten kann man zu räumen und äh, unten äh, südlich auf der Karte äh, ist nur der Ausgang. 
decryption skill too low. Okay. Detective Chelling, come into my office. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Watch your tone, Chelik. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. But you're still using her. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you were so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? As part of the job. Now, are you gonna help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Okay, dann denke ich, ist die halbe Stunde auch schon wieder um. Äh, dann bis zum nächsten Mal, wenn ich weiterspiele. Und bis dann.